there's an update from IT on the Digital India bill. It oh. says, I can't give a timeline, but concept note and what we propose will be out as early as May. Huh, that's pretty cool. Oh, finally an update. Hmm. It says the government will release the draft Digital India Bill for public consultation by the end of this month. Hmm. Oh, there's another update. It says blah, 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 blah. The second very important prong will be the current IT Act getting superseded by a much more contemporary Digital India Act in the coming months. What do you mean by coming months? Like March, April, June, July, just like any of the months? If we were to rely on the many unattributed statements that state when the Digital India Bill will be released for public consultation, there'd be several rounds of consultation already. But on a serious note, as it stands today, we don't know when the Digital India Bill will be released and introduced in the Parliament. But what we do know is that the conflicting information and ever-shifting goalposts have contributed to a lot of the confusion around its timeline. Moreover, the fact that a lot of information around its release is based on unattributable quotes from unnamed mighty officials, it creates room for a lack of accountability of statements. Now, we've spoken about the confusing timeline of the bill, but let's discuss why the bill is in fact so talked about. The Digital India Bill, which will replace the two-decade-old IT Act, will set the bar in terms of what jurisprudence around the internet should look like. Well, all that sounds fine, but the question remains, what is the bill going to regulate or cover? Let's find out. Why would I be worried about catfishing? This is exactly what I look like in real life. Why is gaslighting an offense in the Digital India Bill? Because what my boyfriend did to me was criminal. The Digital India Bill will also cover fake news, cyberbullying, deliberate misinformation, artificial intelligence, metaverse, impersonation, identity theft, doxing, etc. Just to be clear, we aren't saying that these user harms, including gaslighting and catfishing, aren't legitimate or a significant cause of concern. However, issues may arise if Mighty regulates these harms without adequately and clearly defining them and without contextualizing them in the Indian context. It is important that Mighty shares with the stakeholders its underlying intent for regulating these issues and how it assesses user harms. FII, the bill will reportedly also cover anti-national content, digital fraud, cybersecurity challenges, etc. That's a lot of things to be regulated under one bill, you say? Well, but that's not all. The minister also said everything that sits on the internet will be an intermediary. There will be different types of intermediary e-commerce intermediary or social media intermediary. There will be multiple intermediaries defined. Quick clarification, we appreciate Mighty's recognition of the rapidly changing digital ecosystem and the need to revamp the two-decade-old IT Act. In fact, we previously in several instances highlighted the need to update the Act to reflect significant technological policy and legal developments as well as modern technological realities. However, we are concerned with the expanded scope of the bill. As a bill that aims to regulate a lot of complex issues and harms, may lose the much needed nuance that's needed to firstly understand and secondly deal with these harms or issues. So what can the ministry do to avoid this? Well, the ministry should clearly set out its conception of user harms in the Indian context, which may take the form of white papers or discussion papers, and also facilitate a broad-based stakeholder consultation around it. We have a lot more to say about this in our blog post, so do check out all the links in the caption below. Waiting for the Digital India Bill together is better than waiting alone. In case you want to hang out with IFF staffers or connect with people in the tech policy space, join our growing Telegram community. And have you donated yet to IFF? Scan this QR code here and become an IFF member today. Thanks for watching.